Good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sarah, also Sarah's Faves on Instagram, which I will link below. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Today is Memorial Day and I am filming a like how I spend my day off video. So day in the life, but when I don't have work, when I have nothing to do, um, my hair is like doing something funky but right now it's like 8 15 i just need a coffee i read my book a little bit on the couch caught up on some stuff on my phone and i am leaving now to go to a massage so billy's mom graciously gave me a massage gift card for my birthday in february and it's obviously now may so i am using it today my massage is at nine but it's going to take around like 25 minutes to get there just because it's a little bit outside the city like west so i'm going to get a massage now hence why i'm not wearing like any jewelry any makeup or anything because they make you take it off anyways so i was like i might as well just leave everything at home and i'm just wearing like a sweatshirt and little shorts not really little they're like five inches long but that's what i'm wearing to my massage so uh, it's only going to be about 45 minutes, they said. They needed, like, buffer time for the next, uh, like, appointment. So they are going to just only charge me for 45 minutes, which is great. And then I usually, like, I used to like, get massages, but I've been getting them more since I moved here. There's this place on Class Pass I really like called Lizard Yoga. I'll get massages there. But one of the biggest things is, like, I like to tell them where like I'm having tension and stuff right now. It's a lot in my jaw, weirdly. I think I've been grinding my teeth, my ankles, and then like my neck all the way to my shoulder. So if she asks me what I want to focus on, that's what I'm going to tell her. And I'm excited because I've seen this place on the news. It's called Alive and Well in Austin. So I'll vlog a little bit there, but not like too much, obviously. Obviously not when I'm getting my massage. And then the rest of the day, I'll probably get home around 10.30. Don't really have a plan for that. And then I have personal training at 2. And then I'm on a call tonight at 8. So I'm not going to obviously vlog like on call or anything. I'll probably end the vlog around there. But we'll see what we get up to for my day off. And I'm excited to bring you all with me. So let's go get my massage and go to Alive and Well. I just got to Alive and Well where my massage is. It's like 8.42. I like to get here early, usually just to like sit in the lobby and get like, you know, be able to relax. But they don't open until 9 a.m., which is when my massage starts. So we'll see if they like maybe open a little bit earlier. And then of course, there's a Sun Life literally right next door, like obviously. So I'll probably get an acai bowl or a smoothie afterwards, even though they're like, 15 to 20 dollars but they're so good and hill country galleria which is like kind of an outdoor mall area i want to say is like right next door like right nearby where i'm getting my massage which i didn't know i've heard about it but i've never been there so i'm gonna look up right now and actually see what stores are there but it's also memorial day so i feel like Things might not be open. Oh, Eddie Bauer. Funnily, funnily enough, I actually have a gift card there. And I've never gone. And I don't want to order online. So maybe I will go there. It doesn't really seem like that. Like, Loft. Like, they have that many that I would really care to, like, go for. Lululemon, obviously. But, oh, I actually think that might be an outlet. The Lululemon Hill Country. So that could be fun to go to. Let's see if it's open. What did I say? Eddie Bauer. <laughs> It probably will say Memorial Day might affect these hours. Yep. Opens 11 a.m. Hours might differ. We'll see. I'll do like a little drive-by after my massage. But I'm going to sit in here and read my Kindle for a little bit before I go inside. Not for Bobby. What do you do? Good morning. Come on up. Good morning. Good boy, baby, hubby. Go on, you can go for a walk. You can go on. for a walk. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Come on. Just follow the muffins. Hobie, 
You can't have the muffin, it has chocolate. Sorry, booby. I just got home from my massage. It was so good. The woman had just like such soft hands and the lotion felt so good. So I had her focus, like I said, on like my neck, my shoulders, my ankles. I wish she did a little bit more like glute work because she did it like over the sheet and I felt it and it like felt really good because I was sore there and had some knots in my glutes probably from lifting. And then I got a smoothie at Sun Life. I got the Pink Cloud, which is banana, raspberry, dragon fruit, pineapple juice, and something else. And now I am just gonna sit on the couch and read. My personal training isn't until two, so I have like two and a half hours until I have to leave, get ready and leave. And I'm 63% done with the things we leave unfinished. So I actually am gonna try and focus and finish this book so I can start a new one. I have a bunch of books that I bought at Costco that I really wanna read, which I'll show you all later and decide which one I wanna read. So I'm gonna sit on the couch, read, probably make something for lunch because the smoothie like will only hold me over for a little bit. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm doing until personal training. W. I just got to the gym Equinox my personal training session is at 2 it's 1 15 I Billy was like working on something for lacrosse like his lacrosse face mask painting it spray painting it I'm not really sure at home so I was just like chilling reading on the couch but I felt antsy because I got a massage this morning and then I haven't really like done much else which is fine I like to prioritize rest but also when I have a day off, I want to also be doing stuff. So, massage this morning, rested, read, and now I am just on South Congress, which is where Equinox is. And I'm just going to like pop into Lululemon, say hi to people I work with there. Um, maybe like grab another coffee or something. And then because my training session's at two, I have like 40 minutes to walk around I do have a hundred dollar gift card to the shop at Equinox that I can't use on my membership so I saw they got like some sweatpants with like graphic kind of letters or something on it and I want to look at those and see I don't have any good like baggy sweatpants and I've been wanting like a baggy colorful pair of sweatpants so I'm gonna look there but I'm ready for the gym I'm wearing Billy's wolf shirt and then just like Lululemon a line and my white converse so let's go walk around SoCo go to Lulu and then I might check in before my session but if not I will see you after I work out we are back in my car after the gym I literally am so exhausted my personal trainer kicked my ass we did like deadlifts and squats not even deadlifts like Romanian deadlifts we did leg press we did overhead press I showered I'm sweaty I literally don't even have the energy to speak but it is 3 33 I'm headed home don't really know what the rest of my plan is for today I need to eat something so we have leftover uh, meatballs that we made like teriyaki meatballs with rice and quinoa and green beans so I might make that or just like heat that up for a quick lunch and then Hobie and I will probably spend some time outside maybe I'll put my suit on go lay by the pool read my book we'll see but I'm tired and I bought new aligned shorts at Lululemon because I only had one pair and I wear them like all the time in the summer so I just got another pair of black so that when my other ones are like sweaty and dirty in my laundry I can use those ones so I got those at Lululemon with my discount of 40% they're about $41 with tax usually I think they retail for like 68 but they're worth it I love them so time to go home I am going to probably plan my week for this week. I'm going to the office tomorrow, probably Thursday and Friday, since today I work from home, or since today I was off. This whole video is like, what do I do on my off day? I'm like, oh, I work from home. Like, no, I didn't work. So plan my week and yeah, we'll see. So let's drive home now. I got home to make a delicious sandwich with brie, prosciutto, and arugula, not bananas and strawberries, that's just there. And the ciabatta, the bread that we had, is moldy, so I threw it away. And now I feel like we don't have other bread. Hi, ho, we. So I'm gonna go back to the store and get like a sourdough or something. But I guess it, I'll just take Hobie with me. He can come to the store even though it's down the street. I'm just like, oh, I'm so hungry. Hobie, you wanna go for a ride? You wanna go for a ride? Let's go. 
Yeah, we'll go to Sprouts. Okay. Okay, I got bread. I just got sourdough that I like from Sprouts. So I'm gonna do sourdough, prosciutto, brie, arugula. And then in the fridge we have balsamic glaze, which I love. And I think that's it. I have bacon, but I'm not really feeling that. So let's make a sandwich. I'm starving. It's like 4.15 already. It's basically past when I would have wanted to eat lunch. I could add avocado, but I don't, I don't know. Avocado just doesn't really vibe with these ingredients. Oh, tomato. That is what I wanted. All right, grabbing the tomato. Here's the finished product. We have sliced strawberries, prosciutto, brie, sourdough, arugula, tomato, balsamic, glaze, and salt. I'm gonna put these two together, but it just looked better open-faced for the camera. Just finished my lunch, meanwhile it's literally like 5 p.m. I watched Carter and Brianna's recent videos. Brianna's was her fifth Disney day and Carter's was her budget with me for June, I'm pretty sure. And I'm just sitting on the couch now. I threw a little laundry in. As you saw, I wiped down like all the surfaces in the living room and in our kitchen. We do probably need to wipe down the surfaces in our bedroom, but because they're like black, they collect us so much more than any other space in our apartment. It drives me nuts. So like, there's only so much wiping down we can do of those. But I threw in a little laundry. That should be done soon. It wasn't clothes. It was just like my pool towel from the other day, another towel that Billy used, and then like our dish towels. So I honestly should have put our bath towels in there because I usually wash those every week. But then I will, Billy's stuff is in the dryer i will put my stuff in the wash and then i'm hoping i'll be able to just like fold everything get my laundry done tonight i still want to get take a look at my week and see what i have i think i wrote my week out already in my planner but i just want to like look at it again just be like okay this is what i have i know i'm on call tonight which i like honestly keep forgetting but it shouldn't be too too bad and yeah so gonna do laundry and then I'll probably do those leftovers meatball leftover meatballs for dinner instead since I have that sandwich for lunch. I took Kobe out already. He'll need to go out again before we go to bed. But yeah, I'm just hanging out. I think I'll read my book. Uh, I think I'm 70% through, so I'll probably finish. I'm reading things we leave unfinished. And then let me actually show you right now. In my last video, which I'll link here, I had some TBRs like to be read on my list and I showed those and talked about them if you haven't watched that like I said I'll have it linked but I got a couple others so let's go look at my bookshelf and I'll show you what's next and can figure out what my next read will be all right here is my bookshelf so from romantic comedy to the right are books I have already read and then romantic comedy to the left I have not read so at Costco I got romantic comedy happy place yours truly i've had beneath the scarlet sky for a little bit and then the ones i showed on my last vlog are seven days in june and a slow fire burning i honestly think so most of them i feel like are more romance 
A slow fire burning has a romance element. Beneath the Scarlet Sky is like World War II-esque, which I'm currently reading right now. So I think I'll read A Slow Fire Burning because I feel like that will be a quick read. It's a thriller. And then I'll probably read Happy Place after that. But this is kind of like my TBR list right now. And then on my bookshelf as well. These are more like self-help books right here. This section is poetry. And then up here are like two other self-help books with just a diffuser, my matches, photos, and stuff like that. So my TBR is all the way down here. And I also want to add those to my Goodreads as well. But let me get my Kindle. Where is it? Probably in my gym bag. Hi, Hobie. He's so good. I did not vacuum in our room yet, so. My Kindle should be in here. Where are you? You know what? Where is it? Oh no. Oh, it's right here. All right, let's read on the couch. I've been in the bath for like 45 minutes maybe, which is the longest bath I've taken in a while, but literally having this thing like to hold my laptop so I can edit stuff and then so I can have my Kindle and like a drink. I'm drinking Culture Pop. And my phone is right there. It's such a game changer. I think it's linked on my Amazon storefront, which is always linked below. But I am 79% done with my book. And I'm going to get out of the bath now, moisturize, get like ready for bed, put pajamas on, do my skincare, stuff like that. And probably take Hobie out on a walk. So let's go do that. And then I'm hoping I'll start to get hungry for dinner because... I want to eat, but I'm not super hungry yet since I just had that sandwich. Before I do my skincare and moisturize and stuff, I just wanted to do laundry. So Billy's laundry is in here. We have the same laundry baskets. This is our laundry room. I stained a shirt earlier. Obviously, I stain everything and spill everything. But Billy has clothes in the dryer here. So I think I am going to take his out, put these on the bed. And then in here, let's see. We just have like pool towels, bathing suits, stuff like that. And then my laundry is right here. So I want to do my laundry, but first I need to take Billy's out of here. So I'm going to do that. This lighting is a little bit rough because I'm super backlit. But I could be nice and do the rest of Billy's laundry. But I think I'm going to do mine because I have to go to the office tomorrow. Billy works from home. So it is way easier for him to do his laundry when he is working from home. But let's put the washer stuff into the dryer. Clean out the little dryer thing. I don't know what that's called. Literally nothing in here. And then pop a dryer sheet in there. And then for my laundry, so usually I will separate, this lighting is just rough here. Let me turn off the light and see what happens. Oh, dark as anything. Hold on, turn it back on. Hi, hobby. Okay, so usually I'll do white separate and then my Lulu stuff separate. I wore a wolf shirt to the gym today, if you saw on my Instagram or you saw earlier. So I'll usually do white separate, Lulu stuff separate, so let's just organize that real quick. I don't always have that many whites though is the problem. And I classify like light grays as whites, you know? That's not white, that's not white. How often do people wash their jeans? I wash them like not that often, but I stain them. Oh, speaking of. Let's see if I can spray this stain. Where are you? It's right there. I feel like it's been on there for a while, so it's probably not going to come on. Okay, that's that. These are white. All right, I'm going to stop sorting through my laundry, or stop filming sorting through my laundry, but I'm doing my laundry before Billy's, and then I'll do his if we have time. Back to the bathroom we are. So I want to moisturize, and... I've been loving Osea Andaria Algae Body Butter. It's like really thick and a perfect consistency, so I'll use that on my whole body. And then for skincare before bed, I will use Coco Kind Ceramide Barrier Serum and then one of these three. So I have the First Aid 
Beauty Firming Cream, Coco Kine, Resurrection Polypeptide Cream, and then Summer Fridays, like dewy cream. So I use one of these three always before bed, and then I'll use the Ceramide Barrier Serum. But I am just in my robe from Brooklinen. I always bring Billy's lamp from his nightstand into the bathroom because I just hate having harsh light. But I'll put that back for him and turn on our red lights for the evening. Nope, oh, what the heck? Hold on. They're like not on the same wavelength. There we go. And I'll probably do my skincare in the dark because I hate the bright lights, but we still have a candle going and let's do my body wash or body lotion skincare. I just took Kobe out and right outside for a little bit, but heated up dinner. We have leftover teriyaki meatballs from Rachel's Good Eats Cookbook. They kind of look like mush now because they're mixed with rice and green beans. 84% done with my book, so I'm going to read and eat my dinner since I'm hungry now. I am 90% done with my book, so we're almost there. I forgot the Celtics were on, I think starting at 7.30. It's 7.54 now. I am just turning it on, and I'm actually checking my teams for work because I am on call in five minutes. So I just wanted to make sure like I didn't miss anything, I got the time right and everything. And for those that don't know, I work for a travel company, I'm on call overnight. So I do overnight shifts, six shifts a month. And then I actually leave to go to Zurich at the end of this month, beginning of July, or not this month, end of June, beginning of July. So in about like five, six weeks, I go to Zurich, which I'm really excited about because I used to live there. I went last summer, I have family friends that are there. So I'm super excited to go there. I'll be there for two weeks and then I go to Greece for work as well. But I just had dinner, as you saw, the bison meatballs that I made from Rachel's Good Eats cookbook. So it was like teriyaki. I used Primal Kitchen sauce, some pineapple juice for the sauce, and then mixed with rice and quinoa and just added green beans for some veggie. And I have an ice cream sandwich in the freezer that I want, but I'm not yet ready for dessert. So I'm like still full from dinner. Gonna wait, maybe at like half time, I'll have the ice cream sandwich. It's almost the end of the first quarter right now. I think I'm gonna keep the game muted for a little bit just while I finish my book. Once I'm done with my book, I'll be like into the game because it's game seven for Miami and Boston. I'm thinking this video will be posted tomorrow's Tuesday. I think whenever I have like an extra vlog for the week, I like to post it on Wednesday, just so that it's like Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, or maybe I'll do Thursday, but this shouldn't be too long to edit. So I'll probably post it Wednesday, and then my June reset, let's see. June 1st is Thursday. And I think I'm gonna post my June reset on the 4th, like, you know, it's like I want to reset for the new month, but it's fine if it's a few days late and I feel like people will still appreciate that. So I've already written down some of my goals, but I do want to take some time this week to really work on them and look into them, go through like my May reflection, goals that I've completed for that. So that is what's coming in the next few vlogs, but let's finish my book. I'll give a book review at the end how I'm feeling, what I rated it, everything like that, and then have my ice cream sandwich. I just finished the book. It was like a slow burn. You know, I wasn't like super into it until maybe like 50, 60% through. But then once I got into it, sorry, the TV is like flashing because it's on commercials. But once I got into it, it was so good. And like, oh, the ending, it just, I don't know, I loved the characters, everything just like ended up how it made sense and there was a little twist, not like a thriller twist because I'm used to thriller twists, but there was like a little twist that I wasn't expecting and it was good. I rated it four stars. I might have given it four and a half if Goodreads had the option, but because of the slow star, I gave it a four. So, Let's mark that on Goodreads and then like I said, I think I'm gonna read Happy Place next. I'm, I'm excited about it. I feel like it's kind of all the rave right now, so I want to read it while it's like hot and good. But let's just double check. I have read 28 books this year, which is like way ahead of schedule. I've just been so into reading. 
I feel like I wasn't that into reading last year. I think my challenge last year on Goodreads was maybe like 30 books and I definitely hit it. I think I hit exactly 30 or like 31 to 32, but I'm already almost past that, which is really great. I just love reading. I feel it's so funny because like in high school, I did not like reading any of the books they assigned us. Like we were assigned like Great Gatsby. I don't like, I know that's some people's favorite books. I literally think I looked at the spark notes. Like I didn't fully read it. So I definitely want to like read those kinds of books again that I feel like when I was forced to read, I didn't want to read them as much, but let's leave our review. That took me three days to read, which was pretty good. It was how many pages? Um, book details. Oh, 436 pages. I didn't realize it was that long. So that makes sense. I feel like usually 250 to like 350 I can read in like a day or two days probably like a span of two days 24 hours but 436 three days is pretty quick um and I just let I'm gonna read like other people's reviews but yeah I'm excited so I'm gonna review that I literally start a book the second I finish another one which is why I feel like I forget characters a lot like I already forgot people's names in this book no I didn't actually Georgia Noah this is so good. And start Happy Place and get my ice cream sandwich. Turn the volume on the TV. But I'm going to end this vlog here. I I'm going to end the vlog actually eating my ice cream sandwich. Quick pause. Ice cream sandwich in hand. Ruby Jewel. The best ice cream sandwiches from Sprouts. I wonder where else you can get them. You can probably look on a store locator. But it'll be enough for you, booby. Anytime I open something, he's like, what is it? But like, look at that. So good. So, Celtics are down right now. But, I'm gonna turn the volume on and watch. Wait for this to get a little softer so it's like delicious. But, thanks for watching. Thanks for spending my day off with me. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe we gave you some ideas of what to do next time you have a day off. Honestly, it doesn't look that much different from like a Sunday, but it's just without the pressure and knowing that you have a short week ahead that I love. So if you're not subscribed already to my channel, please make sure to do so. I love having you here and I will see you in the next one. Bye.